Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and you are not going to believe this crap. So, in the previous videos, two of them, I showed you guys the Luxor Commander, where you can install LuxOS on your ASIC miner, custom firmware with a dev feed, that can help you reach uh, additional heights with your ASIC miner. Additionally, we talked about Brains OS, or Brains OS Toolbox. Both of them, and their guides, do not say that you should leave the stock password on your miner and believe it or not a lot of people and especially mining farms large mining farms don't update the default password on their asic miner i say that's a big no-no and i always inform and recommend and educate my users viewers and subscribers to update the default password from whatever it was root root admin admin i don't give a damn change it Make it something strong. If somebody gets access to your network and changes settings on your miner, especially like we saw with Hive. Remember Hive? People left their stuff on stock and they were getting uh, exploited. Yeah, I always change it. But these services will not see your miner if you updated the password. So you got to put it back to whatever it was. So if you have the S19 and it was root root, put it back to root root. If it was admin admin, put it back to admin admin. Whatever the hell it was in the very beginning. I do not recommend, obviously, flashing a firmware that has a dev fee onto an Epic board that has no dev fee. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at both of these in two separate videos. So stay tuned for that. But I just want to make sure that you are aware and I can confirm that both of these devices are seen now or both software, excuse me, Brains OS, as you can see here, I can install it now. Before, it could not even detect the miner, the model, it couldn't detect anything. Everything from the host name, if you looked at the videos, or wasn't even showing up before. Now I'm going to load up Lux OS Commander, which is where everything was not showing at all. And if we scan a network and give it some time, the miner will show up. And the only reason why it wasn't doing it is because the root password or the default password was changed from stock. And I find that very silly. And I would hope that LuxOS team or Luxor and the Brains team would notate that in their guides. I know Brains just came out with the Windows uh, version of the toolbox and I was showing you on the Linux or Ubuntu system. And Luxor uh, and their team had their Windows version out long before Brains OS. So this is all new and they are working on updates, guides, tutorials, and, you know, obviously fine tuning. So we got to give them a little bit of, of leeway there. Uh, but I would, I would hope that, yes, I understand the large farms don't change the default password because a lot of machines they got to change the password for, right? So it's just easier to unpack pallets of these miners, put them up and be done with it. But look now it shows up and all i had to do was put it back to the stock password and that's silly to me i know it may not be silly to others but it's silly to me and so now i can actually select the miner hit install and here we go so now this is the part that i was trying to show you before supercharge your hash rate with lux os the wizard will help guide you through the full install of lux os on your stock firmware we expect the full installation to take about five to ten minutes now recommendations there's a couple pools that I would recommend because LuxOS may not play nice with all your other pools that you might be used to. So let me show you those pools right now. So first off, a huge shout out to Matt from the Luxor team that actually took time out of their day evening to actually work with me in resolving this because I was talking to both Brains and the Luxor team about it and I wasn't getting anywhere. But once I started showing more evidence of it, they were like, okay, hang on, let's take a deeper look. What is going on? And as soon as they found out, the Luxor team, or Matt specifically, good man, uh, individual that I met in person, uh, was just like, yo, just change it back. And then we launched a Lux Commander, and it showed up right away. But the pools are uh, Foundry, of course, Amp Pool, F2 Pool, um, you know, like CK Pool, if you want to solo mine, CK Pool is pretty good. And some of, you know, obviously Luxor.tech, stuff like that, uh, maybe via BTC. But, you know, kind of like PayPal and Amazon, my mom keeps on trying to check out on Amazon with her PayPal debit card or credit card. They're, they're not, they're competitors of each other. So, of course, they're not going to be nice to one another. And Amazon doesn't take PayPal. 
So obviously I would choose a pool, like I wouldn't use Brains Pool on my Lux OS and I wouldn't use Lux Luxor Pool on my Brains OS. Um, and obviously it shouldn't really matter in my opinion, but I just wanted to make sure that you are aware of that. Um, and hopefully they update the guides here in the future. But moving on with this, you're gonna need a license as I mentioned before. So here's the license. We gotta enter our license key. I got one from the team already. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. You enter in the license provided, and then you're going to hit activate. Now it's going to need to talk to the server and validate your license. So if your license is not active, then you're going to have a problem. You're not going to be able to install this particular thing. So we're going to start the install. And what I should have done first is change the pools on my stock miner before I started this. And let's get it connected to the Lux, uh, the Luxor mining pool. Just sign in to your account, click on miners over here on the left hand side, click the cog wheel. It's going to give you your pool. And now we need to enter in that information. Now, because I'm installing the firmware, I should have waited or I should have done it first, but now the install has succeeded. So let's close this and we should be able to still scan the network and, and see the device here. You can see there's other devices showing up. Um, but those aren't uh, connected in any form or fashion. What we need to do is log back into that IP or probably go find it. I wonder if it changed the IP. I don't think it did. Maybe it did change the IP of the machine, but let's go and find this ASIC real quick. All right, it didn't change the minor IP, but we definitely need to jump into and change the pools right away just in case it doesn't play nice with nice hash or what have you. And you change that information out with what we're getting on our default. So I'm going to go ahead and add new because it won't let me change what's there. And then we can change the user, whatever we want. It's just your sub account for that particular, you know, coin, whatever you're doing. We're doing Bitcoin mining. Your sub account is your username dot and then whatever you want to call it. So we'll just call it S19K and then come up with a password that you like. And then we can delete the other ones above it and save pool. So now we are connected to just Luxor. Um, I'm pretty sure we could probably add it in there multiple times if we really wanted to. But let's go ahead and give it that name next. And then you will give it time because it's going to take time for the ASIC miner, as always, to show up at the pool level. But we're just going to go ahead and enter that in on our machine multiple times. Copy, paste. Password could be anything you want. Save. So just, just in case as a backup. Now, I do like the dashboard, right? I'll compare it to the stock dashboard as we showed in previous videos. We get a lot of good information here uh, that we could just look at. Um, obviously, the, the stock password is going to still be there. So if you want to change it, change it. Um, I would recommend changing it, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we could check to install the latest update. We can see the actual firmware update right here. We could turn on automatic updates if we really wanted to. Your license will only last for so long. We could check the logs. Nice little uh, section here where we can see the logs as well as export the logs in the upper right hand corner. And uh, we could check out the history and, and see the same thing that we saw earlier with the logs where we could actually download them, view them, what have you. Now temperatures and everything we could set right here. Target board temperature, default 60, hot board temperature 65, dangerous board temperature 70. Uh, these are default settings uh for uh this particular firmware but you can always change it and on top of that you know now we have a better gui in which we can do a lot more you can see here advanced thermal management custom function created to help the miner automatically manage pro uh, profile switching based on temperature and if we turn that on now we got access to everything right we got the buffer right which is the temperature window before hot temperature which will trigger the ATM profile change. And then we got the minimum profile, no profile set. You can see, look at this. We got presets in here, guys. We got presets. So once we get into immersion cooling, we'll probably push a little bit further. Um, no profile set. You can see default right now is, is max profile, uh, 3.9 volts at 600, uh, 670 megahertz uh, clock. Startup time, about 15 minutes. Post ramping time, 15 minutes. Immersion mode, we could just turn it on, right? Take off the fans on everything, which is what we plan on doing with this machine in the first place. 
which is why I got the Epic Control Board. Um, but the Epic Control Board has no dev fee. Deluxe, uh, the Bit, uh, Bitvix, and the Brains all have a 2.5 to 2% uh, dev fee. Uh, but we just turn on merger mode. Easy mode, guys. Automatic for the fans. Manual control for the fans. Nice, clean looking. I like it. It looks good. Overclocking may damage your device. Proceed at your own risk. And that's with everything. GPUs, CPUs, ASICs. It all applies. And create custom profile. We can give it a name. We can set the voltage. And we can set the megahertz. Now, I already know from some testing on my own that we're probably going to want to sit. And look, it only goes up in 50s. Down or up in 50s. So we're going to do around 600. And then I think on the other board, I was able to get uh 590 around 12 something so maybe we'll do 12 8 600 or 13 600 that might be a little bit too high but either way this is this is where you know this type of firmware comes into its own because you can fine tune and get the best hash out of your boards obviously it's going to be based on temperature your thermals your environment stuff like that but this is a nice little gui that the luxor team has provided and that you can install on your s19 whatever it might be j j pro j pro plus at k k pro whichever one good job to the team i would just hope to see that they update that their user guide and i know big farms leave their password stock i just wouldn't recommend that for you the average end user that watches these videos and if you're a farm manager that watches my videos first off thank you if you need help with anything hit me up you know my contact email you know how to reach me um but I, I wouldn't have left my stuff stock. I would have appreciated somewhere in here where I can configure the network, where I can also tell it what the password is. We saw that with the S9s and the legacy uh, brains toolbox uh, to where I can say what the password was and it could connect to the machine, no problem. So we'll see if uh, brains and Lux and others will add that in the future, but I just wanted to show you that real quick. Uh, good to see <laughs> something so simple uh, that could have fixed this, but it, it is, you know, first check the compatibility list that I talked about in my previous video, talking about Lux OS and Brains. Um, and as long as your device is compatible, you can use either the Commander from Lux OS or the Toolbox from Brains, available for Windows, uh, Mac, and Linux. Do me a favor, hit the like, hit the like button on the way out. Uh, make sure to get subscribed, hit notification bell, stay up to date, as well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And uh, you have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.